Good morning, dragon fruit growers. Can you believe that this Arizona purple unrooted cutting has a flower bud in the greenhouse? It's crazy. They say that this is the same as sugar dragon, by the way, so don't waste your money. Looks very similar so far, but we'll see. But today, let's talk about the Pelora seedlings that I degrafted 34 days ago. Oh yeah, it's got roots. Let's check this one. I'm ready to transplant them. Yeah, it has roots as well. So in 34 days, you can see that these seedling grafts that are about a year old that I degrafted have some growth and they're doing fine. So they're definitely ready to get placed outside. It's warm enough. Here's the other one. There's even lots of epiphytic roots growing. It's warm enough and they should do well. Now, normally I'd put them in the shade in a shady spot under a tree for like a week or two, a fig tree. But in this case, it's gonna be overcast for most of the week on the forecast. So I'm just gonna go plant them outside. Okay, so this is my Pelora pot. This should be perfect for them. And these degrafted seedlings are gonna go right here. Now let's see just how big the root ball is after 34 days. That's pretty good. So again, you can see what I used here. I used um, root magic, I believe it's called, rooting hormone. And honestly, you could do water or whatever you want. As long as the temperature is warm enough, these plants will root. You could even use straight water. So now what I like to do is I just like to get it into the soil. I'll mess with it a bit in a minute and I'll show you the end results. Let's make sure this one has enough roots too. Yeah, that's great. If it was really hot, I would not plant this right now. I'd probably keep it in the greenhouse for a bit, but we're gonna have some mild weather. So it should acclimatize very well here. So let me get these situated here and I'll show you what they look like at the end. Okay, so here is the taller of the two, right here. And again, I removed these from a rootstock 34 days ago in April. So you can see I tied them up on this four foot trellis and I'll give them water in about four to five days. Just kind of let them sit for a few days, let the roots develop and recover. So there you go. It's easy, quite easy to degraft some Pelora seedlings from their rootstock after about a year. So that way they can grow true and hopefully produce a very nice fruit. Now I will say in my climate, zone 9B, Southern California, Pelora has been a bit of a slug. So hopefully these seedlings will be faster than this Pelora that I have here. All right, give us a like and a subscribe. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. We have plenty more dragon fruit videos coming your way. All right, take care.